In this video, I'll show you how to get Slack channel messages to Google Sheets automatically. So the idea here is whenever any new message is received in your Slack channel, we are going to automatically add that message in Sheet along with all details. Now where this automation is useful. So suppose you have created a channel on Slack for your product sales and whatever the sales are actually coming of your product, you are adding the sales details here into the Slack channel and you want that those sales details should be synced with your Google Sheet as well okay so in this way you can use this kind of automation for various kind of things so if you also want to set this automation for yourself come with me and i will show you the whole process step by step so this is my slack channel and if any of my team member is going to post a message here that message along with the user details will be collected automatically into this spreadsheet and to do that i'll have to integrate slack and google sheets and i'm going to do that with the pabli connect it is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily collect connect to multiple applications and automate your task and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect i will also attach this link into my description box for your reference now if you are a new user of pabli connect you will have to sign up for free where you will also get free task every month in your account in order to test such kinds of amazing automation i am already an existing user so i have clicked on sign in then i have selected this pabli connect access now application among all the apps and this is how i have reached to the dashboard of pabli connect now once you will reach to the dashboard firstly you will have to click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i'm providing the name as when new message is posted in slack channel add messages in sheet automatically okay i'm providing this particular name and let me also correct the spelling of the slag it should be like this okay now click on create and then you will find two boxes in front of you so these are actually trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means automatically do this okay when this happens do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application okay according to our use case whenever any new message is posted into slack channel then automatically save that message into google spreadsheet application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation in this case i am building an automation in between google sheets and slack so that is why i have selected these two application into my trigger and action uh, steps all right now i am going to connect this slack and Google Sheets with the Pabli Connect. So let us connect this Slack with Pabli Connect. So what will happen every time a new message is received? Okay, you can read the instructions. Triggers when a new message is posted. Okay, so every time a new message is received, this automation should trigger or the data should be captured via Pabli Connect. Okay, now simply click on connect, simply click on add new connection, connect with Slack and provide the access of your uh, Slack application. Well, I am already an existing user of this slack we basically i'm already logged in into slack so that is why it is not going to ask me for the credentials okay and uh, basically what is the difference in this user and bot you can actually read the instruction read this particular documentation i just wanted to collect the message details so that is possible with this user permission only all right so that is why i have selected this user all right coming back to public connect and clicking on save and this is how it will be connected immediately immediately with the public connect but firstly you'll have to provide the access by clicking on this button allow all right so i have clicked on allow the authorization is successful and now the slack application is connected with pabli connect now whatever the channels i have created into my slack application have started visible here and i am going to i basically want to collect the details to collect the chat to collect the message of this particular channel the name of the channel is paypal payment house okay so how about i directly search for that particular channel and here you can see that paypal payment channel all right and once you have selected this channel simply click on this button and you will see how a response is received but currently this particular response is actually blank because there is no message available inside this particular channel okay so i am going to post a random message in front of you into this specific channel and you will see how 
how after clicking on this button Pabli connect will capture the very same details very same message okay well I have already composed a message so how about I directly copy this message from my notepad and I'm going to paste the same here now I'll be clicking on enter and then I will click on this button save and send test request and you will see the magic that in the response the details of that message has been received okay so here we have the user ID instead of the username or user email okay and in this text I have also received the whole message which I have posted okay so let me show you the message was hey I went on call Mr. Uh, with Mr. Zucchini He's, he is convinced to buy a dollar two fifty nine plan team please make sure that the product should be delivered to them on time okay and here you can read the message that it is the same message okay let us check what other details we have received all right we again have this message only okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between Pabli connect and slack is working absolutely fine and the first step of our automation is also working absolutely fine now I am going to send these details to my Google sheet and in this sheet I want the name of the person the email of the person the message and the channel name well the channel name I am going to provide manually but I do not have this name and email okay in this response I have received the message but I do not have the name and the email of the person I just have the user's ID I do not have the user's name and user's email address okay so how and from where I can fetch this detail well with the help of this ID only I am going to fetch the user details okay so what you'll have to do is, is you'll have to click on this plus icon once again and search for the slack channel once again so basically this time we are connecting this slack into the action step of Pabli connect okay and this time you will have to search for the very same action event which we would like to perform and here we would like to perform basically we would like to get the user details with the help of the ID all right and again you'll have to go with the add a new connection only but I am using the existing connections because I have made the connection with the public connect several times okay now it is asking for the user ID and I don't really need to manually copy this ID and paste it here okay I'm going to map it and mapping is very simple inside public connect simple click on this particular field and you will find the above step data here in the drop down simply select that particular data and this is how the value will be mapped okay and what is the significance of mapping so whatever the details you will map here will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in next time and in real time okay I'll be clicking on this button in front of you and you will see how with the help of this ID I will also receive the details of the user all right here you can see the user real name is Ashirai and we even have the email ID of that person let me show you all right here you can see we have the email address of that person okay so I think we have all the details which we would like to collect into our spreadsheet okay so now finally I am going to connect this particular spreadsheet with Pabli connect and in the action event since I am going to first add a new row and in that row I am going to finally add the data so that is why specifically I have uh, selected this particular action event and now click on this add new connection and then you will have to sign in with Google Google. basically you'll have to provide the access of your spreadsheet okay again I'll go with the existing connection only click on save and this is how your spreadsheet account will be connected with Pabli connect immediately and here you can see it is connected and since we are connected here you can see whatever the spreadsheets I have created inside my account have started visible here okay and currently I would like to add the data in this all incoming messages record okay so I'm going to search for the very same a spreadsheet well this is the most recent sheet which I have created so that is why it is visible at the top only all right asking for the select sheet well I just have a single sheet only so it has got selected again automatically now here you can see I have created one two three four columns into my spreadsheet and in this particular case also basically inside Pabli connect also those four columns the same columns are visible here so basically we need to provide the data 
with the help of Pabli Connect in these fields. And this is how the details will be added automatically into our spreadsheet with the help of uh, Pabli Connect. Okay. And again, I don't need to manually copy this data from anywhere. Okay. Simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down. Well, I do not have received any channel name. So how about I provide this channel name manually? Okay. So I have the channel name as the PayPal payment. So how about I directly copy the name from here? All right. PayPal payment. Coming back to Pabli Connect and in this particular field, in the channel name field, I will provide the data manually. Okay. All right. So I have pasted the channel name asking for the name. Well, in this case, I don't need to manually provide the data because I just have received the name of the person, which was Ashirai. Again, so I have mapped it asking for the email address. So again, I will be mapping the email address here. Let me search it directly with the help of at the rate. And here I have mapped the email address and the last but not the least, I am going to map the message which I have received. So here you can see in this particular drop down, I have the very same message. Hey, I went on a call. Okay. So you must be thinking that what is the significance of this mapping? Okay. So whatever the details you're going to map here will be replaced automatically. Okay. So assume that a new message is arrived from different users. So what will happen? Pabli Connect will capture those details of message inside Pabli Connect only and the name of the person will be replaced automatically. This email address will be also replaced. This message will be also replaced but this channel name will remain same because I have provided this value manually okay so this is the difference in between mapping and in between providing the values manually okay and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation I am clicking on this button save and send test request and you will see how the details will be captured via Pabli connect automatically all right let me first correct the formatting of this particular message all right everything is looking really good okay and i have the same details okay i have the same channel name i have the name i have the email and i even have the very same message okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to post any message inside my slack channel which i have defined into pabli connect the details of that message will be collected via pabli connect in every 10 minutes because this trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes minutes okay so just in case your messages are not getting saved in real time into this particular spreadsheet don't worry about that you'll have to wait patiently for at least 10 minutes okay and after that what will happen the user details will be fetched up automatically and this is how the details will be added to google sheets automatically and to automate this process you need to create this automation inside pabli connect just once after that uh, you can simply close pabli connect and sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you do not have to do anything manually after setting up this automation okay and just in case if you also want to access this workflow this automation inside your Pabli connect account i will also attach the shareable link of my workflow into the description box okay so simply click on that link and sign up into the Pabli connect and then you will be able to access this automation this workflow inside your Pabli connect account that too for free not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.